You know, it's kind of like Demon G, but seemingly better. This game. Next card game by Bugbear. This is just the alpha kind of thing showing off what they got so far, so it's not by any means really a full game yet, but the particle effects are beautiful, especially when you compare it to Demon G, and the damage is just as good, if not better. I haven't had enough time to really mess with the damage to say for sure, but it's at least just as good, I would say. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Where the fuck did my front end go? Try to go in. Hit another guy, yes. Nope, nope, not him. I can't. Oh, shit. Let's go to those things instead. That works. Look at that, though. That thing is just fucked. Alright. How can I fit like that? Oh, sh Lost half my car. <laughs> I love the fact that it still runs. <laughs> what the hell is running? I made a motorcycle. I have made my car a normal motorcycle. It is... That's amazing. I am now driving a motorcycle. I didn't even know there was a motorcycle in this. I can still churn, kind of. Even. That's just... Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that physics of the boxes breaking stuff. That's what BMG lacks. It's things breaking like that. Alright, maybe we should, uh... Stop being a motorcycle. Ooh! Look at that shredder. Let's be a motorcycle through that shredder and then we'll reset the car to look like a car again. Well, we can. If you look at the controls, there's a reset car and a repair. Let's reset. Well, it's not moving, at least. Whatever that thing is. I don't even think you can call that a car. Now you can. But if you just bring just the car just right into this. Oh, look at that. Look at those pieces just falling off and just... Look at that. Look at that. That's great. It's great, man. Alright, so we've done that. What else is there? Somebody got stepped on by a hammer. Let's do a jump. Look at that. Look at the breaking apart shit. And, oh, look at that. Look at all those physics. And I'm still getting 60 FPS. I think that's more than I get in Demon G. And I'm making the comparison because at this point, both of these games are in an early alpha state where they basically do oh, the same thing. Wreck cars up in interesting ways. That's what they both do. However... You could do stuff like this. Like, there's so much more physics in their alpha demo. So much more particle effects kind of stuff when you hit, hit things, which they could easily add, I'm sure. But the nice thing is pieces actually seem to break off much more. Like, watch how, watch when this hits. It seems like a bunch of pieces are actually attached to the car broke off. Where it's like it doesn't that doesn't happen like that in the BMNG. It just doesn't. Reset. Alright, let's try being a, a, a Plinko machine or whatever the hell those things are called. Oh shit. I missed. Game knows what I was trying to do. Lines me up for it and everything. <laughs> That's a nice convenience. Shit. Too fast. So basically anything blue you can break, I think. So let's just Yep, yep, you can break those. This is not where I meant to go, but we'll do it anyways. What the hell is that car doing? Look at that, no damage. That's amazing. Let's try to make it under the hammer. 
Oh, maybe not. I'm going to get hit. Let's do a loop-de-loop -loop instead. Yes. Oh, God, I missed. Oh, look at that. Reset that thing. All right, let's try doing this again. I actually needed to go up here, not wherever else I was going up. So I could jump in there, there, or I could keep going up to the very top. The very top is the best. You can keep going higher, keep going higher. Ready, set, go. Perfect, car still runs. Let me show you how to do this little AI. Whoop! Oh. Shit. I tried, little AI, but you're in the way. One thing to note, this one has a lot less simulation of, like, car and mobility. Where Bimenji, you hit, you hit a rock wrong and it takes out your uh, drivetrain. This one, it's like, you can run no matter what. Who knows if that'll be changed later on, but look at that. I could break that. Oh, look at that. Just destroyed that concrete pillar. What's over here? Oh. That's the exit for what I've already tried to do. For the, uh, that's the exit for the, um, grinders. It's just meat grinders. Even though you're a car. Oh. Hitting those boxes. Reset everything. Does that reset the physics stuff too? Or is that... Like, if I, I could tell, if I take that out and hit reset it. Oh, it even resets the physics stuff. That's nice. Uh, let's actually do the grinder, yes. Actually, there's two grinders, isn't there? Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, now we're going backwards out. Now we're going forward, and we're upside down. Oh, well. Hammer time, hammer time. Oh, look at that. That thing is flat. And now it's getting shoved away. Hammer doesn't want none of my shit. Alright, can't move, so reset. And up this hill. Not that far up. Get through that. Get through the ring. Too fast. Look at the way those parts just fall off like that, though. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this was beautiful last time, so I'll do it again. Oh, not enough speed to get them all. Damn it. And now we're rolling. Oh, upside down. Where are we going? I can't see nothing. Oh, right through those tires. Minimal damage. Keep driving. There's the grinder with the box at the exit that I looked at earlier. Oh, that's a really tight grinder. Oh, that's a bunch of grinders. Well, there goes my car. Oh, nope, it still moves. Fuck it. I don't know what to call you anymore, but let's go drive around with you. Look at all those dis destroyed up cars driving around. When I reset things, it doesn't reset them. I want to see this again, because this looked pretty impressive the first time. Did I get them all? Yep. Look at how many barrels are just falling. And it's just pure 60 FPS the whole way. 
It's great. Let's do this jump. Wait, what, what is this? That's not how they're supposed to be used, but okay. Now we're flying. Gotcha. Try sitting on one like you're supposed to. There we go. That's how you're supposed to use it. Not that bad of damage. What's that thing? Some sort of grinder, but it does something extra. Okay. These other cars know what happens. You get fucked up if you touch that thing. Let's try doing the jump over those barrels. I think they're barrels. Thanks for the boost! Oh! I just tapped a bunch of them. Now they're all just tumbling a little bit. There's another jump. Damage car, you could do this. Come on. Over it. Oh, no. So this time there's the boxes. I like the boxes. Like, you hit them hard, or that you hit them with the car, they shatter. If they just fall over, they stay, they, they stay intact. It's good. Again, I just plowed through that. Usually you think that much physics would cause some sort of lag. I'm surprised it doesn't. What oh, did you man is that? You're standing end over end. Let me help you there, bruh. Like look at all that shit falling apart and it's just oh, a little bit of drop FPS there, but still well over thirty. It was like fifties. And I don't get more than 60 because, well, I have a 60 hertz monitor. What'd be the point? And the videos on YouTube are re-encoded to 30 anyways. Gotcha. Now, one thing I don't have to mess with the camera. Because I'm using the controller. And I noticed something. Or did I say that before? Where none of the buttons on the controller actually reset your car. I click them all and they don't reset your car or reset the things. You have to use a keyboard for that. But I don't know if you could change the camera with the controller either. However, when I was first loaded the game up the first time, um, it said press the A button to continue. And the second time it said press enter. And it was the same version of the game and everything. It's just, let's shove that guy into the grinder. So I don't know what's up with that. Help me! Shove this man into the grinder! He doesn't want to be grinded. He's like, no, fine, I'll grind myself. Rip. RIP to my car. Come on, hammer. Ooh. That's all you got? Ooh. I can take this. No, I can't. I'm immobile. Uh, but I don't think you can change the camera from the controller either, which kind of sucks. And, um... It says scroll or the number pad. Scrolling, I'm doing that right now. Doesn't seem to be doing much. And number pad doesn't seem to do much either, so I don't know what's up with that. However, the rest of the game seems fine. And th those are the controls. Most of them work. I, I could try. Yeah, you could use the keyboard to drive too. I don't know why you would. It's a driving game. You want the kind of variability that a controller gives you, or even a wheel, better yet. You don't want to use a keyboard for a driving game. So yeah, I don't know why the camera don't work, but everything else does. I mean, you could look around, that works. But you can't zoom in and out. Yeah. Don't know why. I mean, that is the number pad, right? Oh! 
Wait, no, it's not. What is that? That is a number pad, I think. I don't know, I'm tapping every key I know of. Unless it's plus or minus? Nah. It ain't plus or minus. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be worked out eventually, or I'll figure it out even. You know, I gotta mess around with a couple more things on this, maybe. But the scrolling one, that one I'm sure that'd be scrolling, and it doesn't seem to work, so... Yeah, whatever. Same change camera. That works. Oh, that works. That works at least. Well, then why could maybe I could only zoom it out on specific cameras? Figuring this out. So if I'm on this camera, ah, that's what it was. Okay, now we got a new experience to do. Now you can really watch what happens around the car. And for that, what better way to do it than the cannon? You can't hit me. Kind of have to manage the camera myself if I want to be this zoomed out, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, look at that. Just stuff falling. Look at the tumbling of the... Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're just dominoing over. Ha! Alright, let's see, what else could I do that look, would look different from this camera angle? I don't know, I'm sure a couple of things would look different, but... Let's do my favorite looking thing. I really like the way this thing looks every time. I bet it'll look even better like this. Now you can see it's on both sides, even. Car's fine, keep driving. Let's forcefully shove my car into the... What's remains of my car, I should say. Oh, right through it, no problem. How about go through the grinder again? With a new camera angle. So that's a, kind of unusual there. The first camera angle you can't zoom in and out of. The other ones you can. Alright, reset. Uh, I think we've done uh, pretty much everything there is to do. Can I make it through such a tiny hole? Yes. Let's do the, the uh, Plinko machine, I think that's what it's called, one last time and then we'll end it. Also to note, I'm hitting all the uh, buttons on my controller. There is no, there is a button to change the um, camera, so I wonder if there is a way to zoom it on the uh, controller as well. But when you're locked to the car like this, where you, it turns with you, you cannot zoom in and out. A little frustrating, but oh well. I'm sure it'll uh, be fixed eventually. Or maybe not, who knows. Maybe just more camera options. Alright, so what I want to do is stop here. Get the one that's not locked to the car. That one. And I'll just say... Actually, how many camera angles are there? Just two. Okay. Alright. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something. Damn it, I'm on the wrong side! Well, that's... I'm amazed at myself for being able to do that. That's better. Oh, look at that. This is not getting damaged at all. What is this? There we go. There's some damage. Oh, hello! That guy just comes out of nowhere to help. Here's where all the other cars went. They all crashed into here. Oh! How did I miss this giant globe? Yep, you can go upside down. Confirmed. Now what if you, uh... 
don't have enough speed. Nope, that's not enough by a lot. I need not enough by a little bit. There we go. So I should be able to get them out to the top and crunch. Pretty violent. There's no way to make this jump go in the other direction, but I don't care. Boom! Alright, so I think uh, we're about done here. One thing I want to do, and then we'll be done. Just want to drive through all of that. Hey, I'm trying to fix the camera to make it nice and pretty. I'm gonna drive through all of that. Thanks for the help. Nice to have two people to drive through this. Frame rate's fine though. That's the, that's the impressive part to me is that they managed to do all this while it looks this good, and the frame rate doesn't even it's not touched. That's the part that's impressive to me. Like. Usually if you're doing something like this, it'd be some sort of frame rate hitch, in my experience for video games. Oops. That's not how you're supposed to use the cannon. Oh well. Push me out the edge. Come on. Ah, oh, it doesn't reach this far. Here's another way how to not use a cannon. Improperly loading the barrel. Didn't go very far. Alright, so, yeah, I don't know what, like if there's other shit that gets added to this demo, like they have a new demo or something, I'll do other videos for this, but, aside from that, it might be just a one-off video because there's not much else to demo other car to do. So, so my VR man crashing into shit like it's BMG, but it's not because it's Bugbear's next car game. What a name for a game. I'll see it. Oh, look at those physics. They all froze and float. That looks bad. Fix it by hitting it. So that's a, that's a little bit of how they fudge it to make it actually run good. But... I just now noticed that after how long I'm playing, so pretty good faking it, I would say. Alright, see ya.